Are you tired of not being able to play when your Vanheim host is not online? Running a dedicated server would solve all your problems. How you ask? Let's dive into it, shall we? Hey guys, Casual Critic here, and today we're looking into how you can set up your very own dedicated server for the sudden hit game Vanheim. A dedicated server allows it to be up 24-7 even if the host is not playing the game, and allows people to log on and off whenever they please. Setting up a dedicated server for Valheim in essence is really easy, but there are some outside factors that can make this a big chore. I won't be able to help you with those aspects as they're different depending on how your network is set up, what modem you are using or what ISP you have. But let's start with the basic requirements, which are also potentially the hardest to get right. Number one, make sure your host PC has a static IP address. You can set this up through Windows or through your modem, but setting it up through the modem is the better option here. I left it at automatic in Windows. What you need to do is log into your modem, find something that resembles a static IP or static DHCP. For me, it was under network settings and home networking, but it can be completely different for you depending on what kind of modem you have, but try to find something that resembles that. In there, you can add the MAC or MAC address of your PC and the desired static IP address for your local network. You can find your MAC address either through typing ipconfig space slash all in a command window in Windows and look for physical address or right click your connection, open network and internet settings, click properties and scroll down. Add that address to the list and set up your desired IP. Mine is 192.168.121. But depending on how your network is set up, that last number can be a wide range of numbers, make sure it's not taken by any other devices, and that one can be either a zero, a one, a two, or even higher for crazier setups. This should result in your computer always having the same internal IP address for your internal LAN network. Number two, open the required ports for Valheim. Again, this point can be very simple or very tricky depending on your setup and ISP. Some ISPs don't even allow this and may have you calling them to work something out. For other ISPs, it's three clicks and you're done. So let's just see how it goes for you. Log into your modem again and find something that resembles port forwarding or open ports. For me, it was under networking, NAT or NAT, port forwarding. You need to open the ports 2456, 2457, and 2458 here, and open those ports on both the UDP and TCP protocol. This allows external users to access the computer on your network. This is, however, less safe, so don't go ahead and open all ports on your parents' network or whatever. All right, with the preparations out of the way, let's get to actually running the server. This part should be a lot simpler. First, create a folder for Steam CMD and download Steam CMD into that folder. Extract it there and run steamcmd.exe. This will probably start updating first, can take a while depending on your internet speed, etc. But once it's done, log into Steam using an anonymous account by typing login space anonymous and hit enter. You should be logged in now. Then go ahead and type app underscore update 896660, which is the ID for Valheim. Hit enter and it should be downloading all the required files for Valheim or if you already have set up the files, update your server. So keep this in mind, this is also the way to update your server if a new patch rolls out. Once that's done, go into Steam apps from the Steam CMD folder, find the folder called common and find the Valheim related folder in there, which is currently called Valheim dedicated server. Here you will find all your server related files. There should be a file in there called start underscore headless underscore server dot bat or bat. This is the file we need to adjust. Right click it and select edit or open it with any text editor or whatever. At the bottom of the text you will see Valheim underscore server dash no graphics dash batch mode etc etc. After that you will see a couple of important aspects and we need to change three of them. The first one is dash name, the name of your server. Make sure it's something you and your friends can memorize and recognize. The second one is dash world. This is the name of the world file it will load to boot up your server. If you already have a world up and running from which you want to continue, make sure you change the name here to match the world file's name that you already have. Don't change the world names file, but make sure the world names file is matched here instead. 
Otherwise, just type something random and it will create a new world for you. Number three is the password. A password is currently semi-required, so go ahead and make a password with, I think, at least six characters. I've seen servers without a password. I'm not entirely sure how that's set up yet. I also seen servers with 50 player limits instead of the regular 10. Still not quite sure how that's set up, but let's keep it with a password and with the regular amount of players. So make sure you set a password. Leave the other stuff as is, like the port and public, unless you know specifically what you're doing. Save your file and exit. After that, make sure to copy your back file to make a backup. Especially during the early access, this file tends to change quite often, so just back it up so you have all your information all the time. Then you can simply double click the file to start running a server. It's that simple. Or as I did, create a shortcut and put that in a better place so you can simply click a shortcut and your server is up and running again. Now that the server is running, your computer has a static IP address and your ports are open, you should be good to go. Hop into Valheim and see if you can find your server. If it's not there, make sure to reboot your PC and modem just in case your modem needs a reset for port forwarding. And make sure that after re reboot, you also start your server up again because it needs to be running to be found, obviously. Leave that window open at all times. If your server is not in the list, let's see if we can access it locally. Go into Steam, click on View, click on Servers and navigate to the Favorites tab and start adding a server there. Type in your local IP address, so for me that was 192.168.1.21, uh, directly followed by a colon and then the port number, in my case it's 2456, which should be the same for you. No spaces anywhere. Add that as a server and it should list your running Valheim server and you should be able to join it by just double clicking it. Use this to figure out if your server is running at all. Next, have your friends join your server using your actual IP address followed by a colon and your port number. Try all three, but the lowest should be the one that does the trick. You can find your actual IP address by just Googling it. Um, there are many sites that list your actual IP address. Uh, the latest patch also added the option to join through IP directly in Valheim, so you can give that a try as well, or just use a server list again from Steam. Hopefully that worked, that sometimes does the trick. From there on, you are on your own. If you're having issues with externals joining your server, however, there's one more tip I'd like to share. While debugging, you may want to see if you can join your server using your external address. Please keep in mind that you cannot join your own external address from within your local network. You would have to set up some sort of a loop in your modem to allow that, which is a pain, so just don't. Um, but just keep in mind that you are not wasting a ton of time trying to figure out why you can't join your external IP address from within your local network, because that's simply not a thing. Hopefully, it's all working out for you. Have fun on your dedicated server. If this video was helpful, please consider giving it a like, or if you're particularly great, maybe even subscribe. But hey, do whatever you feel, man. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.